Hey Taurus, welcome to your reading. Uh, if you're new, welcome. Please remember to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you get all the messages I post each month. If you are one of my lovely loyal subscribers, welcome back guys. Thank you for supporting me through all this time. As you can see, a little bit of a di different setup, but it'll be back to normal guys very soon. I just didn't want to sit upstairs in the cold, so <laughs> but I wanted to get some messages out. Um, forgiving and learning and if you didn't see in the beginning there flirt um, forgiving and learning okay as you release and heal the past you experience more love in your present moments okay and finances and career um, I'm not surprised that you're more focused or interested in your financial issues um, and career right now it's saying financial issues are a factor in your love life so let's see um, Spending too much, are we? Making your home so beautiful. Let's see, could be doing so. The dreamer. Okay, so I think you could be looking for a new job or some new beginnings here. Um, it might be that you just met somebody, you're just in that flirty stage, and it's saying extend your lighthearted energy to others. Um, or maybe take a different route and it's time to forgive and release the past. Um, you know, I guess not only do we learn from love and family and friends, we learn from our careers, we learn what we don't like and what we do like. And I think for you, it's sort of like this spiritual epiphany that you're having. Um, and with this dreamer, it says, embrace your true path. So... Within you, you'll know what your true calling is, your true path is, um, who your true love is. And um, if you've made a mistake and they've made a mistake and understanding we're all human, right? Um, so here I feel like it's saying forgive and move on. I say remember and recover. I don't say forgive and forget. I say remember and recover because this is the fool. And if we forgive and forget, we might be reminded by starting a new cycle with the same sort of lesson. Um, so remember and recover, guys. Uh, not forgive and forget. Um, two of winter. So indecisive. Um, indecision is holding you back. Make the choice that's best for you rather than trying to please others. Feeling trapped between the intellectual and the emotional. So you're trapped between what your head's telling you and what your heart's telling you here but it's holding you back. You need to, um, I think once we forgive and let go, we can jump with the fool here and then feel free to get our energy back out there, um, whether it be finances or whether it be love life or family and friends. The magician, so we go zero, one, two, right? Um, so you're heading in the right direction. What you've got to do is start moving decide and start moving here the magician you can do anything take charge of your life you can manifest what you need to be a success here um so if you're trying to manifest somebody into your life know that um you can do anything you can manifest the job the job of your dreams here the person of your dreams the love of your life um just embrace um a new beginning let go of any old lessons and um if you're stuck between your head and your heart i guess go with your heart let it lead you um if we've forgiven and we recovered and we can move forward you really can here you can manifest what it is you desire i think your career might be pulling your focus a bit more at the moment or maybe a financial concern six of swords so you are moving in the right di right direction. It may be slowly, um, you know, but it's surely and it's moving towards something better here. Um, the Six of Swords, it might be that, you know, you're moving with family here. You could be moving house or traveling somewhere here or trying to move house. And that's where all your focus is on your finances. This move is costing me a lot of money or I need a new car and I'm indecisive. You know, what should I do here? Um, I think you can manifest this, okay? I wouldn't go overly spending money I didn't have because the way Venus... Um, is lined up right now it could have you picking out a brand new car for the color 
rather than the performance, right? It's making things look amazing to you through rose tinted glasses. So I would say um, in that case, I would hold off making big purchases. Um, but in regards to friends and family, I would definitely stop holding myself back and start to move forward. It's the only way to free yourself, right? This not knowing or this feeling of not knowing is holding you back. So if you don't know if somebody wants to be with you, um, I definitely feel like you should start moving forward and they'll catch you up if they're meant to be in your life, right? Let's see here. Maybe I'm a little too relaxed, like chilling out. <laughs> the star. Um, so yeah, if anything that's meant for you, on this earth, whether it be money, whether it be children, whether it be love, whether it be a nice mansion, an amazing job, whatever it is, will never pass you by here, right? Okay. So even if you feel like you're moving away from somebody or something you want, you're actually moving towards what you actually want. Destiny is setting you up here. You've just got to take the leap of faith with the fool, right? Um, and understand you can do anything here with the magician. Just don't let indecision hold you back. It's destined for you with the star. Your wish will come true. The four of pentacles. So again, I'm seeing some of you um, maybe decorating a home. I said it in the beginning, um, but it could be laying new foundations, uh, getting a new job and moving towards that that's more fulfilling for you. So let's see here. But it's also, I feel maybe you couldn't let go of some sort of relationship. And that's what it's now asking you to do. Forgive and release um, so that you can move forward. It's not moving away from them. It's actually moving in the right direction, um, whether it's towards them or somebody new. It's the right direction. Um, the high priestess, you just got to trust all that you've learned, right? Trust the process, trust that um, you're seeing the signs, trust that you're reading the signs correctly. You've gotten to that certain level of ascension that you can now trust yourself here. And you can let go. You can trust and let go here. The emperor. And um, this is a, a lot of abundance. Uh, moving towards a career that allows for a life of luxury. Um, it may be something where um, you have to take a risk. Um, but some of the greatest things in life, you have to take the biggest risks, right? They give the biggest rewards here. Um, yeah, an emperor, you could be moving towards somebody who's um, much older than you in age. So it may be that there's an age difference between you and this person who you meet. Let's see here. The chariot. So we have the chariot and the star. Destiny is going to line up, um, like it or not here. Ten of Swords and the Queen of Wands. Um, this is about taking action. But the Queen of Wands is knowing when to stop taking action. If you have give and give and give and somebody has stabbed and stabbed and stabbed, you need to know when to stop. The difference between the Kings and the Queens is the Kings know healthy boundaries. And this is what we're trying to teach the Queens, right? These healthy boundaries that... Um, don't allow somebody to put 10 swords in your back, okay? Um, we want to be able to give and love and do for people as much as we can. Um, but the minute they're just taking and taking, you, you've got to know your limits because takers do not know their limits, okay? Givers um, know your limits. Because I'm telling you, if you keep running into this sort of cycle, you'll keep ending up like this and it's not pretty for nobody destiny's trying to line you up you've just got to release that fear that um whatever it is will be lost because it won't you're moving towards it guys okay good luck